my second game of Wheel of Fortune 1991 for the NES. Okay. Uh, currently, I'm a one game winning total of 36,498. I'll have him be my character. Apparently, the same two, same two people I took on last time. Person is the category. Do I want this puzzle? Uh, I guess I'll try it. It's going to be 300. T. Nope, there's no T. Sarah, your turn. <laughs> 350, almost got some trouble. R. Nope, no R either. Leslie. Well, there's a free spin. And what was Mr. Carter's ranch? There's free goes S. There are two S's. Two hundred under there. A letter please and S. As mentioned, there are two of them. So that's four hundred dollars. And Leslie gets a free spin. One fifty. L. There's an L. Just avoided trouble. 200. N. There's one N. And I know what it is now. Unfortunately, it's not my turn yet. She'd have to blow it twice. And I say twice because she does have a free spin. 300. C. There's no C. Are you going to use the free spin, Leslie? You are not going to use it. Uh, P. There are two P's, $1,600. 200. How about, uh, J? There is a J. I think I'll take that last spin. Seven hundred, that's a great one. H. Got two H's. Another fourteen hundred dollars. Only vowels are left. Well, it's time to solve the puzzle. John Philip Souza. In the presence of your client and his father, the district attorney's office has decided to charge Keith with the death of So I saw the first puzzle with $3,200. That's a great start. But Leslie still has her free spin. Let's move to round two. Things in the category. Do I want this puzzle? I think I'll switch it. All right, let's try a fictional character. We'll take it. What are you talking about? We're talking about... So, Sarah, you have the honors of starting. Nine hundred. S. And there's one S. It's a nine hundred dollar start. Four hundred. N. There is an N. And Sarah's going to buy a vowel, an O. But unfortunately for her, there is no O. So we need. So we now go to Leslie. A 
Unfortunately, she gets to lose the turn. Will she use her free spin? She will. Uh oh, big money, 2500 R. But unfortunately, she cannot cash in because there's no R. Two fifty. A T. No, no T either. Back to Sarah. She's spinning. Two hundred. L. No L either. Leslie, your turn. Three hundred. C. There is no C. My turn. Well, I could possibly cash in. A D? There is no D either. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea now. 200. P. No P either. Two fifty. G. Nope. Four fifty. M. There is an M, and it's right where I think it is. Four hundred fifty dollars worth. Like to spin. Oh, bankrupt. Uh oh, Sarah might cash in. H. And there is an H. That's for twenty five hundred dollars. Three hundred. B, but there's no B. Leslie, your turn. Four fifty. F. Nope. Oh, another one. Two hundred. J. There is a J. And Sarah's going to solve the puzzle. Jim Hawkins from Robert Louis Stevenson's novel uh, Treasure Island. So I'm going to have to play a little catch up, but only but she's only five hundred fifty dollars ahead of me. So pretty much one more spin and one spin, one solve. I'm back in it. Over 550, that is. There is a and the category is person. There's a hyphen in the puzzle. And I'm gonna take this puzzle and we'll start with Leslie. Uh oh, thirty-five hundred dollars. S. But there's no S. Hmm. And again a bankrupt. If this keeps up, I'm probably gonna lose. That's three bankrupts in my last three spins. Six hundred. N. No N either. See you guys for part two.